Although some animals and people may go into hibernation at this time of year, the South Portland Recreation Department is not one of them. Director Rick Toll tells Leslie McVean that their winter activity schedule is as crowded as ever. Well, Rick, tis the season to be jolly in South Portland. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> You've got a lot of fun things coming up. Well, yeah, we, we look forward to this time of the year. People would think with Parks and Recreation, we would go and hibernate. Uh -huh. No, it just keeps rolling. Yeah, so. you don't stop. Mm -hmm. Now, coming right up is the Christmas tree lighting in the park. Yeah, it's an annual event that we're really proud of, and the Rotarians and, other business, and the businesses in downtown Mill Creek area they really get behind this and they support it and we, we thank them for their generosity but they light the trees in the park up with the, the, the festive lights that we put in them as Aww. a parks and recreation department and it's really a neat thing to see and the kids all come and they're yeah. amazed but there's events from early afternoon into the evening on December 7th so we encourage people to come back out to that annual event. Uh -huh. Will there be hot chocolate? I'm assuming <laughs> there will be, yes. Absolutely. There usually is at things yeah. like that. Yeah. And, and not only will you be having this annual event but it'll be in a new park yeah the park's been renovated so we have yeah. a lot of areas that we can use that we couldn't over mm -hmm. different times of the year in the past so you know people could come in from the formal garden entrance now on ocean avenue and broadway oh. and maybe take a picture this year and if we get some snow between now and then there's some really neat new places to set up to take a, like a right. family picture for uh, the christmas holidays that you send out to all your friends oh what a great idea yeah the new plaza that's sitting there too and oh what so, a great idea yeah, it's kind of so neat. even if people have been in the past this is going to be totally new and yeah it's and very exciting. different for them ways they can use the park they couldn't in the past yeah. yeah well you've got other things coming up too as you said parks and rec doesn't you know close up shop after the good weather stops no and obviously we have our basketball program that's already underway and things uh -huh. for youth but we encourage people to come into dr everything from dropping sessions where they can just come in and participate but they can also sign up for regular classes or programs they want to sign up for ranging from art and yoga all the way to you know them getting involved with swimming and, and getting in more in the pool and I encourage that this time of the year significantly well it's hard for people who are outdoor runners or bikers yeah. or something and then all of a sudden that snow comes or the or just the cold weather yeah if you're an orthopedist you're loving it yeah because <laughs> all these people are too stubborn to go indoor and do something that mm -hmm. on, when it gets icy on the sidewalks or the roadways and things we're encouraging them to avoid that hazard <laughs> keep up and keep in shape but the simple ways for folks who are just trying to do it for basic health mm -hmm. is we have an indoor walking track inside the, the community center located on Nelson Road uh -huh. in South Portland and we have a 12th mile so you do 12 laps and it's a mile oh, that's you can great. walk um, which is really good for you but you can also do a combination with that of swimming mm -hmm. and if you don't know how to swim we have the lessons all winter too that you could take and start with that oh, and then build great. up we have cardio fitness programs in the pool uh -oh. we also have cardio fitness programs in the gym mm -hmm. and they're age appropriate so if someone's a senior they can join a senior group if they want if they're a little more fit they can join another group yeah. so it's neat to see that we, it's like a hibernation on uh, you know on a treadmill you know everybody <laughs> just kind of goes yeah. goes goes inside that building all winter and we all know how important that is that um, if you stop using something it's just gonna break <laughs> well the hard part is is it like I said all summer and fall you see people put all the excellent time in and the holidays can kick you in the butt a little bit because you know you get active and do things socially mm -hmm. but if you don't stay with it it's a t it's twice as hard on your body yeah. and twice as hard on you mentally in the spring to pick it back up yeah you know? it, it, it's so true it's so true now the the classes you offer when you say you could teach people to swim and that is any age yeah Even any age any ability who's level 70 yeah. years old who's never been swimming but thinks you know what it's time I do this. Absolutely. You can be any person and start out and mm -hmm. start from scratch, or you can be a person who's been swimming, and we can help you advance your strokes or advance the way you're mm -hmm. doing it. So we have a great staff. Our aquatics crew is really neat. That's great. Now, um, do you have special children's programs that are geared just for winter coming up? Oh, yeah. We have, like I said, you know, we got these kids that want to be artistic and do things and use their hands. Uh -huh. and We have a great art classroom or oh, two that we great. do that with. We have teen-based programs. Teenagers, a lot of times, this time of the year, you know, you're kind of sick of seeing them. And we started a new one at our Red Bank Community Center. Oh, great. Um, in that facility, so each evening of the week and some weekend activities for them. Um, some of the teenagers like to go into our skiing program, our Learn to Ski program. Oh, great. King Pines is the uh, facility we go to, a slope. There's lots of things like that. Well, thank you for being here. And if they want to find out more, they can go to? Well, obviously, you can find us on our website at any time at southportland.org. 
You can click on Parks and Recreation and you'll weave your way through there and find things. You can also call us at our offices at 767-7650 and we'd be happy to help you as well. Well, great. Thanks, Rick, for being here and um, I look forward to doing some of this myself. Well, I appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you. Okay.